the detail pane is visible on the right hand side of the screen anytime you select an object. When we select an artifact, we will see the title and property list followed by the contents of that artifact. When we select an entity, the detail pane will show us its properties and relationships. From here, we can also add properties by clicking the Add Property button. Let's add a source property here and say we got this article from the LA Times. When we open the detail pane, we notice that there are many underlined portions which signify what we call terms. Inside an artifact, our entity extraction process makes a guess at what it thinks should be entities. These guesses are underlined, color-coded by the type of entity. We can click on the highlighting drop-down menu to adjust how the system signifies this information. While the underlining is the default, we can also view icons or full word highlighting. Because terms are just guesses, we can't actually do much with them yet. In this document, we see here a mention of Colombian President Santos. Since we'd like to know a bit more about him, we can click on him inside the artifact to bring up the Entity Resolution dialog. When we click in the text box, we see that there is already a President Santos in the system. Clicking on this first option will give us a new entity in the system with the name we've given it, while clicking here will say that this is the right person and resolve this term to the existing entity. Next, we click Resolve and notice that Santos is now in bold. This shows that he is now a resolved entity and can be dragged onto our graph. We can also resolve entities from text that wasn't highlighted as a term. If we select this text here, we are presented with the same dialog as before, only this time, if we select Create New Entity, we have to select the concept type of this entity. Let's take a look at the button next to Highlight. If you find an artifact particularly interesting, you can select this to open or download the original artifact. If you want to examine an artifact or entity with a little more screen real estate, you can use the last button here to pop out a new window. Let's say that I have two items that I want to compare side by side. I can now go to a second item and click the pop out button again. This time, however, notice we have two options. The first one is what we did before, and we can open a new window for this document. Secondly, we could also append this document to the view that we just opened, so that these two documents will both be opened in the same view. Another way we can examine data from multiple documents at the same time is through our histogram view. If we click and drag to select multiple items from our graph, or multi-select from our search results, we see our detail plane will change slightly. At the top, we have a breakdown of the properties within the items we have selected. Clicking a document from the detail pane will allow us to examine it more closely without losing our multi-selection. Clicking on the currently selected item will return us back to the histogram view. 